First time I came here, I met Veryl, and she gave me a tour of the building. They had actually just completed the addition, which now houses the Anderson School. And you could see the pride that she had of this organization, one that she had nurtured from nothing with $100 from the church rectory. And we started as the professional nursery at Christ Church. Then we became the professional center for handicapped children. Now, the professional center for child development. What we found is it takes a group of professionals coming together to really be able to nurture the growth and potential of every child that's here in the agency. We also found that it takes a lot of heart. There's a huge amount of compassion that goes into providing our services. Today we have over 130 staff. They're highly trained. We now service over 2,000 children a year. I've been involved with uh, this organization for over 25 years because when I was a baby, I actually received services from the early intervention program here. Now, here I am as a nurse. I think it's important for PCCD to grow, being able to continue to support children. I mean, we've been seeing so many referrals coming in, so many different needs out there. Eva is such a bundle of joy for us to have here. She started in the Anderson School when she was three years old. She's gonna be graduating from the Anderson School. And you talk about a journey with a family. We actually moved the whole family to Tewksbury so that she could come to this school. Sending her to the Anderson School was the first time I could send her off and be happy and comfortable and actually excited for her to go somewhere because she gets the attention she needs. She loves it, like this is her school. The impact that this school has had on Eva's life and my life and her family, it, it's been like monumental. The stuff that they do, it, it's not just caregiving, it's enriching and it, it's giving them a childhood. When she turned 10, the school extended the age program for two years, which was absolutely fantastic. With the work that the school's doing, it would be great to see that kids can stay almost indefinitely. Eva's story is one of many. Where our future lies is within the innovation. I look to be able to innovate, provide new services, provide new supports to families. The ability to see that there's new practices out there, new ways of working with children to bring out their best, to overcome speech and language delays, to overcome physical challenges that they might have. That innovation is where we need support. Where we take our staff and we invest in them. We let them try to do therapeutic approaches or educational interventions differently. Give them the chance to be able to to do what Beryl did and what Cindy did in the very beginning, which was there is no script. Nothing gets done without a partnership. We want to have a name that resonates with the community, one that shows and articulates really what it is that we do. The way that we are an educational institution that cares about their student the way that they care about their child.